could see if it was a real nigga. If you lost your hold of T.I., I'd be like, hey, that's T.I. But, but I sure? <laughs> What's guys? I'm your boy Mega back with another video today. I'm gonna reacting to what is Boondocks even about. This video is by Senshi. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This was a funny show, and I feel like this is one of those shows that holds the test of time. Like you can watch this, and it still holds meaning to this day. It just goes to show the writer was named Aaron Magruder. He was really doing his thing. But before I get into this video, let me know what you guys want me to react to next in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Ah, we have covered Inazuma 11, Kuroko no Basket, and we even covered regular show, but the job's not finished. I'm on a mission to find all of the out of pocket, unhinged show. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> this accent throwing me off. I did not expect this accent. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> I was not expecting this accent. <laughs> okay. And called them out for their nonsensical behavior. So our next show that's being held under investigation yes, is Beanox. Is he Indian? Bro, why did grandma just give Riley a six piece combo like that? Wait, wait, hold up. I swear I've seen this before. Yeah, it's the same Ain't animation. No That's tough. Way. Grandma must have been watching Naruto because there should be absolutely no reason as to why she just handed Riley the Orochimaru special. Riley got hit with the speed blitz straight into the left, right, good night and finished off with a slap yeah, to the yeah, cheek. A, Look at the way Riley went shit. flying. I know he's gonna be Man, so hey, bro, he, she, she sent his ass flying with the butters on. Free Come on now. Grandma was really beating on an eight year old boy. After watching the Super Bowl and seeing Usher's halftime performance, I knew I had to make a video on the boonocks because Usher had no business hugging Alicia Keys like that. I know Swiss <laughs> Beats was foaming out the mouth watching that performance, but the only thing I could think about after seeing it was that one Riley quote. I mean, I could see if it was a real nigga. If you lost your hold of T.I., I'd be like, hey, that's T.I. But, but Usher? <laughs> you lost your hold to Usher? Bro, this, bro, this is literally what I said in the beginning, bro. Literally what I said in the beginning, bro. Like, you can go back. This show was like 2000. It came out in 2005. And it still holds to this day, bro. I'm telling you, if y'all have not seen this shit, y'all gotta go watch it. <laughs> Swear to God. In a minute. And when I was re-watching it, I could not stop laughing. Every damn episode was hilarious. The only flaw Boondocks have is the fact that they used to have uncensored schmeats in the early episodes. Like, if Boondocks were to have aired today, I think it would have got cancelled <laughs> in a matter that of That ass? I don't yeah, remember that. That's crazy. Race, gender, religion, and every single living being under the sun. Are you gay? And if so, do you have a gay lover living with you in the house? Bro. Oh Lord, how much is security? Security. We got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. I mean, let me just say, I am not condoning anything Uncle Ruckus says, bro. I remember I did a video on Uncle Ruckus and YouTube went and flagged my shit. <laughs> I don't know why. No, I'm not condoning anything Uncle Ruckus say. He's a coon. I gotta put that out there. You don't understand. Boondock simply did not care. They had a whole episode about the R. Kelly trial and they even had Riley repping the free R. Kelly sign. And to make things even worse, R. Kelly won the trial. His lawyer was locked in. Young Fox should really tap in with his lawyer because I know he's struggling right now. All jokes aside though, Boondock's that, that episode was, That was the first episode I think, right? Issues within the black community. Now that episode was like real though because it kind of showed like in the black community, they don't really care about what you do if you make good music. And that was the... <laughs> Everyone's like free R. Kelly. He make good music, and you even see that today. They talking about some free thug, free free Tory. Even though these people committed crimes, but they fuck with their music. So it's like, nah, you gotta free him. Mainly portrayed and narrated through Hubie's mind and his character interactions. The episode I really want to talk about first is when Stink Nina ran the fade with Robert. Stink Man, that, this is the funniest Robert's episode, bro. I swear. All white forces and proceeded to beat him in a one on one squabble. What the hell? This was the funniest episode, I swear. This whole Stink Meaner, Stink Meaner series. Sad. If you didn't already know, Stink Meaner is blind. Yeah, th that's right. Robert got <laughs> weaved and beat by a blind, senile old man. Stink Meaner is the personification of hatred. He dedicated his entire life to hating, so much so to the point that he was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer and told that he only had 3 more years to live, but through sheer hatred alone, he was able to stay alive this entire time. Fast forward a little bit and Robert- <laughs> Wasn't there an episode where he was in hell and he came back from hell? <laughs> on his way home, while Riley is out here instigating like prime Mark Phillips. I low-key feel bad for Robert, they got his L on worldwide 
my news. This is the equivalent to losing a fight in front of the whole school. Right. Hey, Robert. You unathletic orangutan. I just saw the news. You really got bodied by a blind Mr. Popo? That's crazy. Robert has agreed to rematch Stinkmina, but Huey has gaslit himself into thinking that Stinkmina was Tozen, and he is now training uh, Robert my nigga like he's to fight Hey, what y'all know about that, bro? What y'all know about Reach, bro? Didn't he end up killing him? Yeah, that's how you got sent to hell. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Robert just eviscerated Stinkmina. Halfway through the fight, Huey realized that Stinkmina was just a regular old person, but it was too late because Robert hit bro with a falcon punch to the jaw and ended his life description right there and then. Or so we thought, <laughs> because Stinkmina is now in hell training and fighting bro, against yeah, literal okay, okay. devils. So he got knew, shaped hard, he wrong. got Satan himself to acknowledge that he was one of the toughest people of all time. Do you understand how much hatred you have to have emanate from your soul to be acknowledged by Satan? Even this was off some Mortal Kombat shit. The devil now that I look back at it. Mina and sends him back to earth to spread more ignorance and violence, but we'll cover that in the next video. Alright, the next episode I want to cover is the kickball episode. Bro, nah, this was my favorite episode, bro. I swear to man, this was my favorite episode, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and cap and pretend like I grew up playing kickball, but I know for damn sure this ain't normal. He threw that ball at Mach 10 speed. Man, kickball used to go crazy back Look in the day. Look at the way she flew back. She flew back like she got hit by the Rasengan. This is insane. This entire episode was straight out of an anime. It's like it's like when Goku started playing baseball in Dragon Ball Super. One Kla had some debt with the Chinese, so he decided to stay the entire neighborhood on a game of kickball. So he wants to recruit Huey for his team because he's one of the greatest kickball players of all time. But Huey doesn't want to get involved until until he gets approached by his new arch nemesis. Yeah, shorty, shorty, didn't she grow up playing kickball? Like she was in the womb kicking and shit. <laughs> Alright, let's cut the nonsense. No way this 10 year old little girl just generated so much force in her leg, it created a whole whirlwind. Turns out she was basically the Asagi of kickball, and her parents shipped her off to the blue lock equivalent of kickball. Now Huey's interest yeah, is be kicking in the game. Huey started off a little bit slow, but found his groove until this Shaolin warrior kicks the ball with so much force, he sends a grown man flying back. Huey is really carrying his team right now. Yeah, that's how he caught it though. Fighting in Vietnam. This is, this is not just a game of kickball. The game's pretty even until this scheming evil little girl tricks Huey into thinking that if she doesn't win this game, she gets sent to some prison for failed athletes that brought shame to China. So Huey starts going easy on them, but once he found out that it was all fake, he locks in. <laughs> <laughs> Huey almost cooked their entire nah, that team, he's literally episode, soloing bro. the team like Madro vs the Shinobi Alliance. It comes down to the final two players and let me just show you. And he wasn't lying about that Rasengan cause what he added some air to that bitch. <laughs> Is Huey not a 10 year old kid? Bro literally started airbending, then threw the ball 30 feet into the air and did a literal fire tornado from Inazuma 11. I'm flabbergasted, but somehow, some way, the little girl managed to return the shot. And now Huey is trying to stop this Kamehameha from going through. Man, Look at the way Kamehameha, bro. Kamehameha, bro. That's a whole spirit bomb, my nigga. <laughs> um, he's out here like Mark Evans versus Royal Academy. He's out here stopping Vegeta's Gallic gun. This is this is crazy. Huey manages to break the ball and tags her out. And the match officially ends. What? an episode. Boondocks really got something for everyone. Like, I don't know, I really like the episodic vibe of this entire show. I know I didn't cover much of Riley or Uncle Ruckus, so I'm gonna ask you guys for something I've never asked for before. If this video gets 3k likes, I'll make a part 2 that will be twice as long as this video where I cover all of the suggested episodes that you guys have put in the comment section. If you enjoyed- He didn't really actually answer the question. Actually he did, it's just a whole bunch of nigga shit. Bro, that's just a whole bunch of shit going on with niggas and shit, but I'm telling you man, this one of those shows that really do stand the test of time like this shit really real bro like this is definitely a go-to show definitely a top 10 top 5 for sure top 5 for me top 5 top 5 show let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you want to react to next and i'll see y'all the next one i
Peace.